Hey y'all, as teachers, we all know how important it is to read to our children. But did you know that read alouds can be a powerful tool for teaching math too? In this video, we are going to explore four of my favorite books for teaching graphs and data. Now, before we get started, please give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and let's dive in and get started. Stuart J. Murphy is my favorite author when it comes to math read-alouds, and one of the things that I love is that in the back of each of his books, he shares ideas. Let me turn to the right page here. He shares ideas for adults and kids on how to have more fun with this book and concept. He gives teaching ideas and he lists activities that kids can do. Um, and it's just a really great feature of his books. So my first two books I'm going to share actually come from his Math Start series. And so the first book we have is The Best Vacation Ever. And I think that this one is perfect for introducing how to collect data. And so the writing style is really engaging and friendly, especially for our young learners to follow along with. So this book is about a family that wants to go on vacation, but they have no idea where to go. So the main character surveys members of her family with questions that can help them pick the perfect book for vacation. So for example, she asks each member of her family if they should go somewhere hot or cold. She tracks the data and she tracks the answers from each family member on a data chart. After asking several questions, she uses the data that she collected to choose the perfect vacation spot for her family. Now, in this read aloud, kids get a great visual representation of what collecting data looks like. And then you can take the conversation even further on how they can take the data that was collected and how to turn it into a graph. The second book that I'm going to share is Lemonade for Sale. This one's also part of the Math Start series. And this story incorporates bar graphs with money and a little bit of financial literacy. So throughout this book, the characters, they want to fix up their playhouse because it's falling apart. As you can see here in some of the illustrations, and they need to make money so that they can fix it up. So what they decide to do is sell lemonade. Now to keep track of their earnings from their chart, they decide to create a bar graph. The bar graph shows the amount of money that they earn from their lemonade stand each day, making it easy for the kids to see which day of the week they made the most money and which day of the week they made the least amount of money. Now on the days that their sales were lower, the kids had to work together to come up with a plan to figure out why. And they actually come up with a plan that just might help fix their lemonade sales so that they can fix up their playhouse. I love that this book shares graphs where the increments are more than one, which is perfect for our second and third graders. Lemonade for Sale teaches kids how to read and interpret bar graphs and shows them how to represent data visually by making a bar graph to make informed decisions about their lemonade stand. Book number three is from another one of my favorite math authors, and that is Laureen Leedy. Her book, The Great Graph Contest, includes great nonfiction and real world examples for creating bar graphs and pictographs. So let's take a look inside. Throughout the book, the characters use different types of graphs to represent data, including bar graphs, pie charts, line graphs, and pictographs. They also learn about different ways to present data visually and how to choose the best type of graph for that information. In the back of the book, she shares different types of graphs that you can make from different pages on the book. And I find this to be really helpful, especially as a teacher. And so, for example, on pages 24 and 27, the characters from the book survey customers who just bought some plants and flowers. 
They ask the buyers what they plan to do with their new flower, such as are they going to plant it? Are they going to give it away? Or are they gonna eat it? Now, the characters are animals, so that's why this question makes a little bit of sense. Then, then they take the data that they collected and make a pictograph based on the results. Overall, I really love this book because it's a fantastic tool for helping kids understand how to represent data, how to choose the best type of graph for their information, and how to interpret data presented in the graph. The last book I'm going to share is called Tiger Math. This book uses real life examples of tigers to teach kids about graphs and data. Like what kid wouldn't love this, right? So the storyline follows a group of researchers studying tigers in the wild. Now throughout the book, the characters collect data on tigers such as their height, their weight, their length, and their age. And then they use this information to create different types of graphs, such as bar graphs and line graphs. This book also introduces concepts such as estimation and prediction as the researchers use their data to make informed predictions about the tiger's behavior. Inside this book, you're also gonna find examples of comparing data so the researchers compare the weight of two tigers and how that would look on a graph. The illustrations in this book are very realistic and it also includes real life photos of tigers in different environments, which helps bring this story to life. I recommend this one because it's an excellent resource for teaching kids about multiple subjects such as math, science, and literacy. Now that I've shared my four favorite books for teaching graphs and data, you're gonna want to check out the links in the description of this video. On my blog, I actually share seven of my favorite books for teaching graphs and data. I shared four with you here, and then there are three others that I didn't mention in this video. You're also gonna find a link where you can find all of these books on Amazon. These links are affiliate links. That means that I earn a small commission if you purchase through my link. I use those earnings to continue providing you with the free content that I share on this channel and it's so greatly appreciated. If you have a book about graphs and data that you love and that I didn't mention, I would love to know. So please leave me a comment below so that I can check that out. I hope you guys have a blessed one and I will see you in the next video. Bye.